What's going on fish fam? Today is musky hunt number six. I'm here at Burke Lake and I'm waiting for Ace to show up. He's gonna be joining me out on the water today. So before I got here, my buddy Ty reached out and said he'd like to lend me a swim bait rod to throw some of these bigger baits. So he gave me his Dobbins 806 to throw around today. It's paired with a Shimano Corrado. This is the 301 DSV. I cannot wait to throw this thing around. Huge thanks to Ty for reaching out and letting me borrow this. I really, really appreciate it, dude. Thank you. So, we're gonna be throwing some of the Savage Gear eels around today. The Sibyl swim baits or glide baits. Ty also hooked me up with a couple bigger swim baits to throw for the muskie. We're currently 32 hours into this muskie hunt. I don't plan on stopping until I catch one. And I would say, if I could estimate, we're about a third of the way through the 10,000 casts, if I could guess. Something else I wanted to talk about was the fact that I'm not out here teaching you guys how to catch a muskie. I have no idea how to catch a muskie. I've never caught a muskie. I've never even seen a muskie. So, everything that I'm learning is from you guys. And I think that that's really unique and it makes this series really, really cool because I'm just teaching you as I go and everything that I learn is from you guys. So Ace is gonna be pulling up here any minute. Let's go catch a muskie. There's a huge school of shad back yeah, here. Yeah, right in the back. And like a foot of water in the back of this little creek. I mean, there's like thousands of humongous shad. Look at this. I don't know if you can see them or not, but there's like thousands, thousands oh, of shad man. here. Oh man! Look at that. Ace just scooped them up. Oh, that is just so cool. Yeah, can I get a couple of them? Yeah. <laughs> no, you gotta get them yourself. <laughs> <laughs> get them yourself. <laughs> hey, look at compared to that one feeble you have up there. It's a pretty good, good bait right there. We're gonna have to focus on. Uh, some shallower stuff today, I think. Because with that much bait back here, there has got to be some musky. Something has to be following them back. Like there's just, I mean, we'll definitely fish the mouth of this creek a bunch. What do you think about the first musky hunt? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say. What do I do with my hands? No, I'm excited to be out here on our first, my first musky hunt. It's Matt's sixth time, I think. Everything's new to me, so I'm asking a lot of questions. Uh, like I don't really know how to work the baits yet, so right now I'm just working it fast, and I'll pause it and uh, just you know jerking it a little bit, like Matt said, and letting it fall, reeling in that slack. And like you all said in the comments, I'm gonna figure it every time or try to. Um, it's a little hard because I'm used to bass fishing, and that's something we don't do. So we'll try our best, and we're hoping to get a big muskie today. I'm gonna give this gigantic gigantic eel a shot for the day, throwing it on the Dobbins 806 that Ty has let me use. Casts like a dream. It's gonna be a little weird reeling left-handed, but whatever. Wow, this like, thing gonna, launches, it's awesome. It I'm gonna freak out. Musky hunting. Think I hit that brush pile pretty good, guys? <laughs> All right, so I threw this six ounce sea bill for a little while. No luck, so we're gonna move on to this Savage Gear jerk bait. Uh, it's fast sinking, so we'll let it sink, then jerk it back slowly, so hopefully we get some luck with this thing. Looks pretty cool. We've been out for about two hours. No bites, no follows, but that's okay. It kind of comes with the territory. I've been throwing the large eel around on the Seabill glide bait, Ace has been throwing a couple of glide baits as well. We're kind of just working around a bunch of different spots, trying shallow and deep today. I mean, we saw all those thousands and thousands of shad in the back of that one creek, so we're not writing off shallow water today. 34 hours into the musky hunt. Let's make it happen before 40. When did musky like hit top water or anything? Because I'm definitely getting a duck. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go home. Have a big no, no, no! Like I'm gonna go home and buy one of those wooden mallard ducks <laughs> and screw in some hooks. <laughs> Just making long sweeps with this rod, letting the bait come up, and then fall on a slack line, reeling up the slack line, and doing it again. I'm experimenting with 
depth as well. I'm letting it sink, you know, for 20 seconds, I'm letting it sink for 10 seconds. I'm letting it go to the bottom and I'm kind of ripping it off the bottom. Just trying different things. I wonder if the shad are like shallow up there too, or if they're just like in the back of that creek. I don't know, but that was very strange to have all those shad. Maybe we should work down that bank. What do you think? Should we try it? Right? Well, they do go shallow. That's what they say. Something's got to be back there. I know, with all that bait, like, there has got to be something back there. Absolutely, it has to be something. I agree. So, we'll go run it. We are back at the launch real quick. Have to grab something from the car. We also wanted to fish our way down this bank to where all the shad were. We're going to see if they're still back here. Dude, that's shad. Right there? Pretty sure. Oh, I see him right there. Yeah. Oh, there oh they're right here. Right under the boot. Everyone's <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you doing? Oh, look at him there. This is insane. <laughs> I can't even miss the other boat. <laughs> what the heck, man? This is crazy. It's gonna break the net. So the shad were still here. Came back to grab a phone charger out of the car and to fish down this bank and to see the shad were here. They didn't leave. I've never experienced that in these water temperatures. It's 48 degrees. Let me know what your experiences are. If you guys have ever seen that and how you adjusted your <laughs> adjusted your fishing to catch fish when you've seen that because that's pretty wild probably should grab one and live line it but i'm not about that life yeah we're going artificial time for round two throwing the small eel on gonna give this a shot for a little bit maybe they just want something a little bit smaller We just watched the lure go. <laughs> Sail into the sunset. So we have an hour left to fish. And my hopes are very high. I'm really hoping we can at least get a follow here this evening. Turned out to be a really nice afternoon. The wind died down completely, probably 50 degrees. Water temperatures 49.7. We've been fishing shallow and deep today. Tried a little bit of everything. Been throwing the eel around, a couple different swim baits the Siebel swim bait and the Savage Gear swim baits. Ace through the Savage Gear jerk bait. And what else did you throw? Oh, that Storm uh, crank bait. Yeah. Oh, it's been a fun day out here. Fifteen more minutes. We're gonna fish our way back in. Make a little prayer to the fish gods. It's the end of musky hunt number six. Unfortunately, no bites, no follows, no fish. No fish. It was Ace's first though. We did catch some shad though. We did catch a couple shad, which just, is really just cool. Just a couple, just a couple. <laughs> oh, something I want to share with you guys real quick. Look at this awesome bottle of Knob Creek Ace got me for my birthday. He got it, what is this, engraved? Yeah, it's engraved. For when the channel hits 100K, you can drink it. Awesome, so we're gonna try to get to 100K and then we can pop this bottle of Knob Creek for my 26th birthday. And I will drink this, so thank you for that. It's money. I'm getting out tomorrow on my birthday. I'm gonna be doing another musky hunt. Till then, see you soon. Bye. Bye. Thanks.